I'm here today with this Camry Panova line of mini PC. This has a Ryzen 5000 Series 7 in it and AMD Radeon graphics. Now, this one has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. So let's get this set up on a monitor and check it out. While this is booting up, I'll talk about it a little. Again, this is the Camry Panova line. Pretty compact mini PC, a little bit shorter than some of the ones I've had. Again, this has the AMD Ryzen 5 7430U. It'll do up to 4.3 gigahertz boost. It has that Radeon RX Vega 7 graphics. And like I said, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, although you could do 32 and it has a 512 gig SSD. Now on the front, it has two A ports and one C port. You have some more around back. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi 6 and it does have one ethernet port. They claim this should be able to run stuff like Fortnite, Valorant, League of Legends, CSGO, Minecraft at decently playable frame rates. We're gonna put that to the test with some of the benchmarks. All right, we had to take a couple minutes away, but you know, 3D Mark sometimes when you install it does weird things, even on my daily driver, for whatever reason, it just didn't wanna work until I installed some runtimes and DLLs and yeah. So here we are. All right, so 3D Mark system info didn't install correctly. I think it did this time. So we're gonna go ahead and give it another go. Now it should be able to actually see things and we should be able to do some decent benchmarks. That's not the fault of this computer. Like I said, 3D Mark's just weird sometimes. I'd say like 60% of the time it installs fine on computers, regardless of what they are. And the other 40% of the time, there's always some issue. It's now seeing the CPU, GPU, and storage. Let's go to more benchmarks. There's one somewhere down here. Let's do wildlife. I was born in 1985, so our first computer was a compact Presario in 1995 that my parents bought with their tax refund. And it was, actually may have been 96, I don't remember. I think it was 1995, because like Hackers and Craft had, were just coming out. And Oh yeah, this looks a lot better. So I think that reboot definitely helped. Obviously this isn't Steel Nomad Lite, but I'm not getting any of that graininess. And we're doing, 39 frames a second with this test. So I'll be interesting, interested to see what Steel Nomad does. Well, for whatever reason, it won't show estimated game performance on this test. I don't know why 3D Mark's being weird today, but we were getting about 28.92 frames per second on Wildlife. Let's run Steel Nomad Lite again. See if it doesn't give us the information. I, I've literally never had it do this and it's kind of weird. Um, I may go looking for uh, Radeon graphic drivers here in a minute. Maybe there's just something weird going on there. Okay, there we go. So maybe it was just that other test. I still, I'm gonna look for drivers, but Battlefield 5 on 1080p Ultra, it thinks it's gonna get 30 plus frames per second. I did go ahead and install Radeon's software, find a little bit of an update for a driver. So now that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. The average bandwidth is about 88.93 megabytes per second. Not the greatest, but it's also not too terribly bad for stuff like Battlefield 5, like 234. You know, for install games, about 60. For record games, about 12. So keep that in mind. You know, you're not gonna do like some bunch of crazy stuff with this. Let's run one more benchmark. Let's see what we've got here. I am thinking we run Night Raid. Looking pretty good. I always forget this one has sound. I just wanna see one thing here in a second. Yeah, like the leather. She's a little choppy, but not too bad. I will say this thing's putting out a nice bit of heat. It's exhausting in a way, pretty good. The top is room temperature. So it's really doing a good job about that heat management. It's actually doing all right. It's in about 36, 37 frames per second for this. Pretty consistent with what we've seen on other things. This does think that it'll run Battlefield 5 at less than 30 but Fortnite's still gonna be you know, 165 frames a second. Obviously you're not gonna play like top tier games on something like this. It's like a $230, $240 computer, not bad. Overall, I was quite happy with the performance of this thing for the price point. That has been the Camry Panova Series Mini PC. If you have one of these, let me know. If you buy one, let me know. I'd like to know if I'm actually helping people make decisions on these things, but yeah, pretty, pretty good. I'll see you guys in the next video.